so class 11 student uh, your chapter starts with vector y vector so we will use some new operations to deal with our physical quantities physical quantities that means the quantities which we used in physics uh, in physics we deal with two different kind of quantities one is a scalar and one is vector and specifically we will discuss about vector in coming few videos scalar scalar means those physical quantities to describe them we need not require any direction so scalar quantities are not direction specified your another physical quantities which are very important they are vector quantities and they are direction specified but that means to describe them you need to tell the direction of that physical quantity a uh, scalar quantity that means what we told ki those quantities need not require any direction uh let's take some example uh scalar quantities scalar quantities example uh, uh mass uh volume uh energy work energy uh magnetic flux electric flux magnetic flux electric flux uh temperature etc etc so these are some quantities which we need not require any direction they are scalar quantities scalar quantities means uh, require a scale only uh, what a scale does scale does it tells us a scale tells us how big it is or how small it is it only tells about the size uh you have seen different scales you have seen scales in uh, your um, motor vehicle hmm. your two wheeler your four wheeler having scales you have seen scales in your thermometer uh you have seen scales in barometer and in your geometrical box scale is also there where you measure length of any line or side of a rectangle triangle they only tell us how big it is or how small it is if you take them somewhere their measurement does not change for example if you carry a 5 kg fruit from dugda to bokaro if you take 5 kg fruit from dugda to bokaro it will remain 5 kg it is not going to change but there are some quantities when you change their position when you change their direction that physical quantities those physical quantities 
shows exactly different results. Those physical quantities where direction is specified, direction is needed. Those physical quantities are called vector quantities. Uh, vector quantities. To express a vector quantity, we need to tell them their direction also. Of course, the scale should be there. Suppose, uh, if you are told the distance between New Delhi to Sri Lanka is 3000 km, you cannot reach to Sri Lanka by just knowing that their distance is 3000 km. If you start from New Delhi, you may reach to Moscow. You, if you start from New Delhi and if you cover 3000 km, you may reach to Myanmar. If you start from New Delhi and you describe 3000 km, you may reach to Afghanistan. So, 3000 km, the scale is given. Even then, you were unable to reach your destination. You will be able to reach your destination if along with scale, the direction of Sri Lanka is also provided. So, if you are in New Delhi and you are told that you have to cover a distance of 3000 km and you have to cover in the direction of south, only then you will be able to reach to Sri Lanka. If you are in New Delhi and you are told that your direction is in the east and you have to cover a 3000 km, the 3000 km is the magnitude of the displacement. And to reach Myanmar, you need to know the direction. So if you are in New Delhi and you are told that you move towards east and you cover 3000 km, only then you will be able to reach Myanmar. So there are physical quantities when we need direction. If the direction is oriented, we get a totally different result. So some physical quantities, if the scale is given only, that physical quantities does not give you the desired result. To get the desired result, you have to know the direction. Suppose, again, uh, let us uh, consider the example of vector quantities. Uh, example of vector quantities, first uh, let us consider uh, the examples. Uh, velocity, force, uh, position, uh, electric field, magnetic field, torque, uh, acceleration, all these are etc etc. These quantities are vector quantities and to describe these quantities, you need to tell the direction to. Uh,
Uh, this is a body of mass M and you need to displace this body here. To displace this body from here to here, you need to apply a force. And when this body is displaced from here to here, its mass will not change. Now, if you are told to move this body from A to B, you have the sense that you have to apply a force here. And that force will bring this body from here to here. But that is not sufficient. You know that how much force is needed. If it is a heavy body, that means the scale of mass will give a greater result. If it is a lighter body, the scale of mass will give a smaller result. If it is a 5 gram body, the scale will tell you 5 gram. If it is a 50 kg body, the scale will uh, tell you it is 50, uh, 50 kg. So it's a scalar quantity. But you need to move from here to here. And you have to apply a force. So how much force you have to apply, you know that. If it is a heavier body, you have to apply a bigger force. If it is a lighter body, you need to apply a lighter force. And if you know that how much force is needed to move from here to here, it depends upon the roughness of the surface. So, you know or you can estimate how much force is needed. But at the same time, you know that in which direction you have to apply the force. If this is the body and if you apply a force, if it is a lighter body, you have to apply a lighter force. If it is a heavier body, you have to apply a heavier force. So you know the scale also. For lighter body, you need a small force. If it is a heavier body, you need a greater force. You know the scale, but that is not sufficient. If you apply force in this direction, only this body will move from here to here. If you apply the same force, because you know the force, how much force is needed to move this body from A to B. But if you apply the same force, but in this direction, the body will move in some other direction and will not reach to B. So you know force, if you know the four amount of force, how much amount of force is needed to move this body A, that will not bring this body from A to B. You need the direction also. So if you know the force only, that is not sufficient. You need direction to, to reach your destination, to get the desired result, what I told you earlier. To get the desired result, to, to reach your destination, you need a direction. And that direction, if you know, and if you know the scale, that means what is the magnitude, what should be the magnitude of that force. If both is known to you, only then you can get your desired result and only then you can reach to your destination. So there are physical quantities where the scale will tell you that whether this quantity is a small or large but that will not give you the desired result that will not lead you to the destination it will lead to your destination only if you know the scale that is magnitude as well as the direction also 
only then you can get your desired result and you can reach to your destination so there are physical quantities where we need to know the magnitude as well as its direction to reach our desired result and there are physical quantities where direction is not needed if a mass here it, if the mass is 5 kg it will remain 5 kg if it moves from here to here if its volume is 1 meter cube it will not change from place to place or if you do any kind of orientation or if you uh, move it from uh, one place to another place it does not depend upon it will not going to change so, so there are some physical quantities if you change their direction that physical quantity does not change but if you consider physical quantities from this section if their directions are change that physical quantity will also change that will give a different result as we have seen here if this force is applied from this direction or the force is applied from this direction it will never reach to here to reach this body from here to here we need a specific direction where the force should be applied so that it reaches from here to here so there are physical quantities where when we use these physical quantities to get the exact result desired result we need the scale that is their magnitude as well as the direction in which this physical quantities or these vector quantities will be acted okay so in next few videos we will learn about vectors how they are operated and so many things will be taught so listen the uh, video very carefully and try to understand it